Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, if you've already seen the Google slide for this week, you'll notice that I had you learning about toucans, which I just think they're super cool. So maybe you watched a video about them, maybe you learned a song, maybe you read some facts on a website, whatever toucan lesson that you have participated in, I'm going to show you today how to make this toucan art. It's gonna look super cool. It is a little bit difficult to draw the parts of the toucan. So if you get stuck on anything, it's always good to practice. Use a pencil before you use a marker and you can use whatever you have at home. If it's markers, crayons, colored pencils, paint, whatever you wanna do. Um, so if you're interested in making this, stick around, follow along, and we will get to work on our toucans. So you can probably see I started to sketch this already with pencil. That's just in case I make any mistakes. Um, you might want to do it in pencil first too, but I'm going to use marker just so that you can see it a little better for the video. So I'm going to start in sort of the top right corner, not all the way over. I need some space for his head, but I'm going to start with his eye. So we're going to do a circle, and then I'm going to do a tiny circle inside of that, and I'm going to color it in just so that it looks like our eyes are a little bit shiny. And then to finish the eye, I'm going to make an upside down U shape on top of that eye. And then I'm gonna connect a U shape on the bottom of the eye. All right, next part is I'm going to start the beak. So I'm gonna to come to the left of the eye. So I'm gonna start at the top of the eye, move over a little bit and do a curved line like this right next to the eye. Then I'm gonna do another smaller curved line right underneath it. So it's gonna have the eye in almost like a backwards three that's stretched out, so two curved lines. Now I'm gonna go in and finish the beak. So I'm gonna take up pretty much the whole page to do my beak. So I'm gonna come all the way out and it's gonna curve down a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing from the bottom of that line to make the bottom part of his beak. And then this point that we made in the middle, that's going to be where the top of his beak matches the bottom. All right, toucans have a black tip on their beak, so I'm going to start up here and kind of just make a curved line. It almost looks like half a heart. And I'm going to add two lines here to kind of make a stripe on his beak. All right, my next step is his head. So I'm gonna start at the top of the beak. I'm going to come up and around to make his head. So it's kind of just a curve shape that goes down. And then I'm going to make another curve shape that goes off the paper. So we're not gonna worry about his tail feathers. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start at the bottom of the beak. I'm gonna come in a tiny bit, but then I'm gonna go back out to make his chest and his belly, and that line's gonna go all the way off the bottom of my paper. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is start at the top of his beak here, and I'm gonna make another curved line on top of his eyeball like this, but that line is gonna continue to go all the way down, almost like half of a heart shape. So that half of a heart all the way around. And then this point that we made before, I'm going to make a U or a stretched out U shape. All right, his wing is a curved, almost like an upside down U or a rainbow shape. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up and over. And then for his feathers on his wing, it's a bunch of wavy lines. So it looks like a bunch of stretched out letter U's. So I did one line here, one row, and then I'm gonna come up a little bit and do the same thing again. And I'm going to go all the way up his wing. Perfect. And then I'm going to do some flight feathers at the bottom of his wings. So just at the bottom of all those wavy lines, I'm gonna do a bunch of straight lines to make the feathers that he would fly with. Toucans are actually not very good flyers. If you read that on one of the websites, they prefer to hop from branch to branch instead. 
All right, we've drawn our toucan. I'm going to add some palm leaves around the toucan. So what's going to be, I'll show you how to do one and then you can de decide how to fill in the rest of your paper. So you're gonna draw a line out and then you're going to draw it back in where it starts really skinny at the top and gets a little bit thicker. All right, and now we're going to make some leaves. So I'm going to start at the top of this and I'm going to make a curved line up and then I'm gonna bring it back in to make one leaf. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again here. Curved line up, bring it back in. Curved line up, bring it back in. And you'll notice that those leaves are starting to get a little bit bigger as I go up. And I'm gonna have to hide some behind his body and that's okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna have my lines going up and back in and up and back in. I'm going to add some more leaves on the top of my paper and I will check back in with you guys. But this is how you make one. You can decide to add more in the background. You don't have to add this if you don't want to. It's just an option to fill in some of the white space on your paper. All right, so I have gone in and I have added a bunch of palm leaves to my toucan artwork. The next thing we're going to do is color in the beak and the face just so that you know what colors to make the toucan's feathers on his face and what colors to make for his beak. To color this toucan in, I'm going to be using some oil pastels. Um, if you don't have them at home, totally fine. You can use crayon, marker, paint, colored pencil, whatever you've got to color your toucan in. So I'm gonna start by coloring his beak, the whole beak except for that little mark we made at the end. I'm going to color it in with a yellow color. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of color to his beak because a toucan's beak is not just yellow. There's usually a little bit of orange mixed into it. So I'm going to take an orange and I'm going to color on top of the yellow. This is why I'm using oil pastels um, because the colors blend really nicely. Um, like I said, you can use whatever colors you have at home. If you have crayon or colored pencil, it might be a little bit easier to mix the colors than if you would just use marker. And on the top of his beak, I'm going to add that orange color down here next to the middle line. And I'm going to add it on the very top part, but I'm not gonna color in the middle section quite yet. So I'm just going to add it around where I drew those black lines before. Sorry if you hear noises. Um, Eloise pushed one of her toys under her food bowl. That's my cat, and she's been pushing her food bowl around the kitchen. All right, next thing I'm going to do is go in with red. And now I'm going to put the red on the bottom part of his bill or his beak, but I'm not gonna go all the way across. I'm gonna stop it about halfway so that there's less and there's more red in this corner. And I'm not really gonna add too much to the top part of his beak, but I am going to add a little bit of red to the very top of his beak. And then what I'm gonna do, oil pastels, if you've used them with me in school before, they smudge. So I'm gonna try to blend them in a little bit and get my fingers a little messy and mix them together. Awesome, so the part around his eye, this little circle right here is going to be blue. And then this section out here is going to be orange. Please feel free to pause this video anywhere you need when you're coloring. Um, I'm just skipping the coloring part, otherwise this would be a super long video where you mostly watch Ms. Schaefer color in a toucan. I'm going to add black now to this part of his beak and to this part of his beak. So this section of your toucan is going to stay white because their chest is usually a white color, but I'm going to color in his back 
with black and I'm also going to color in his wings black because the wings are black but I'm going to show you a tip. If I color this whole wing black, you're not going to be able to see the lines for the feathers very well. So when I'm coloring the feathers, I'm not going to go all the way to where those lines are that I made with my marker. I'm going to leave some space of white in between so that you can still see the lines where his feathers are. Like that. You see how there's a little white space in between the black that I'm coloring? So I'm not going to color it all the way in. If you want to color it all the way in, go ahead. I'm just going to leave a little bit of white space because this black that I'm working with is very dark. I think it's even darker than the marker and I don't want it to cover up all of these lines. Ooh, that took a long time and my fingers are sore. Uh, but I colored the rest of the toucan in black and what I also did was I took this white you could probably use a white crayon to do something similar. And I traced over some of these lines and I pressed kind of hard so that you could tell the difference between the rows of feathers. And then the very last thing that you can do for your toucan artwork is to color in a few did leaves in the background. You can color those in any shade of green that you'd like. Ta-da! And that is the toucan artwork. I use some different shades of green, so there's more than one type in here. Um, like I said, you don't have to do the leaves in the background. The toucan is hard enough by itself. Use whatever you have at home. Color the background however you want. Um, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about our toucans, and I look forward to seeing you next week for our art lesson.